Well, doctors reporting a major breakthrough for patients with spinal cord injuries. For the first time, a paralyzed man has been able to regain some voluntary control of his limbs using a device made by Medtronic. Bloomberg Shannon Pennypiece is here with more. And, and describe to us why doctors are calling, us, uh, calling this a huge breakthrough. Well, you know, this is a 25-year-old man. He was hit by a car in 2006, uh, lost almost all feeling below his chest, couldn't move any of his limbs. Now, let me show you a video of what he is doing now. He can stand for, uh, well, an hour with assistance, a few minutes on his own. He can stand up, which might not sound like much, but if you think about all the muscles and coordination involved in that, it's a, a huge achievement. And he can voluntarily move things like his toe or his leg, um, you know, on command from his brain without any sort of assistance, which is really something that doctors said they have never seen before, to go from a patient who was completely paralyzed to now, you know, being able to have voluntary control of his limbs. If you watch here in a second, he'll lift his leg up on command. Really amazing stuff here. So that's what really has doctors so excited. Uh, it is. A, right. He's lifting his leg right now. H how did doctors do this exactly? Well, it's the first time they've ever done this on a human. And they took a device that's made by Medtronic. Uh, it's used for chronic pain in the lower back. And they implanted it here. And what it does is they it sends these signals to the spinal cord. And it signals similar to the electrical signals you would get from your brain. And in in paralysis, the brain can't get those signals down to the back and the lower limbs. So by mimicking these signals, it wakes up the nerves in the brain. This is what they believe. They don't know for sure, but by waking up and stimulating that part of the spinal column, the spine can start sending messages to the legs and the feet, and the legs and the feet can start sending back more, uh, or back messages again. And it's all sort of triggering this muscle memory of, oh yeah, you know, I know walking, I know standing, and, and using this, the spinal column rather than the brain to communicate. Amazing. Uh, and uh, what comes next then? Well, they want to study this on four more patients. Like I said, this is just very, very early on. And they want to get a better device, one that is actually designed for this rather than something sort of off-label. And they also want to see if drugs can help. They believe that maybe there's medications that can help facilitate this communication process between all the nerves here that are involved.